Hi, my name is Brad Gerritsen, and I'm the Accounts Payable Supervisor for Honda Logistics North America out of East Liberty, Ohio. When it comes to FSOft, absolutely rating is 9 out of 10. So I'm in charge of our Accounts Payable division, and we have seven different companies that we provide a shared service finance solution for. So one of the things that I was tasked with is finding a way to implement everything into one program from across our seven entities across the United States so that we could bring everything in so that we had a clear picture of what our expenses were and also for accruals and for an audit standpoint, because we had too many invoices that were just floating out in the ethersphere that we had to get in. So FSOft was able to bring that in because now all of our invoices come into one place. They're one centrally located location and it makes it easier for us to track and maintain our expenditures. Even if they're not approved yet, we know what they are and we can accrue for them month to month as we report up to Honda Logistics in Japan. When we went live in 2015, right out of the box, we knew that we wanted to go with some kind of a platform that would allow us to put in a multitude of different invoices from all of our vendors, from the small mom and pop operations who still handwrite their invoices to the 500 page Verizon invoice that we get in. And FSOft was able to do that pretty much right out of the box with an 80% pass rate. So one of the things that we saw is in a free format like FSOft offers, you don't have these fields that you have to define on for a certain invoice, look here, 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 or here. It's a free flowing format. So it takes a look at the entire thing, whether it's one page or 500 pages, it takes a look at the entire document as one invoice and extrapolates the information. And by a little bit of tweaking, we were able to teach the system, here's where you look and here's where you look. And the system was able to pick that up. But right out of the box, we had about a 75, 80% pass rate because the system knew what to look for. If there was one thing, it would be that I want the system to learn a little bit more, um, give it a little bit beefier background. For example, we have one vendor who sends in their invoices and their invoice format hasn't changed. But because of the layout of their invoice, it has the invoice number up at the top right. And then right below that is, there, it's out of sequence. It shows due date and then a date. And then right below that is the invoice date with a date. And invariably 90% of the time, it'll pick up that due date as the invoice date. And we have to manually change it in the system. And it doesn't catch as a red flag because it shows as a legitimate date. So we actually have to look at that and change it in the system. I would like the system to be able to learn that as we put those invoices through and it just doesn't seem to pick up that one. Other than that, I'm happy with it. If you were gonna consider anything, consider the fact that a lot of the, the programs that they have out there are form fed. They're where you have to identify the fields. So you have to take your invoice that's coming in from the vendor and you have to say, okay, based on this env invoice and this vendor type, you need to look here for the invoice, here for the amount, here for the vendor profile, here for the line item data and things of that nature. And then if that vendor changes their format, if they go with a different accounting system in their invoice, in their invoice changes, you have to then modify your system to meet those changes. With FSOft, you don't have that. You have that free form where it takes a look at the entire document. So if you're gonna consider something like that, bear that in mind that you want something that's a learning system. You want something that takes a look at the whole document as opposed to something you have to build to feed that information in.